the next 30 minutes as the world turns. Brought to you today by Joy. What about uh, Patricia? It's a nice name. See, and then there's uh, Margaret. Uh huh. What about uh, Janice? Honey, you know you've been rattling off nothing but girls' names. I know. Oh, I hope we have a boy, but. Just in case, you know, I think we should have some girls' names handy. Let's see, y'all. Uh, what about Karen? Karen Hughes. Or Carol Hughes. Sounds nice. Then, you know, I was thinking of uh, my mother's name, Alma. Uh, look, honey, let's not name the baby after anybody, all right? <laughs> you know what I was thinking. I mean, seriously, if we have a boy, and I'm almost sure it will be. Well, then why have you been saying all these girls' names? Just in case. <laughs> but if we have a boy, why not name him after your father? Well, honey, I'm sure Dad would be very flattered, but we're not a, a naming after family. You realize there's not one junior in my family? I mean, Grandpa's name is Will, his sons are Chris and John. My folks didn't name us after anybody. Then you don't think it's a good idea? Well, I think every boy and girl should have their own name. An individualist, huh? I think so. Well, I'm going to go downstairs anyway, and I'm going to talk to your father about it and see what he thinks. I think he'd be so happy if we have a boy and we named him Christopher. Oh, I suppose he would. He's only human. <laughs> Besides, I sort of like the name Christopher. Christopher Hughes. Little Chris. <laughs> Hey, what about Robert Hughes? Oh, no, that's out. Oh, little Bob or Bobby? Robert Jr.? No, honey, I don't want to have a junior. That's one thing that I really don't like at all. Robert Hughes the second. Oh, come on now. Quit the teasing. No, 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 I'm not teasing. I think we should have all this settled, you know, another six or eight weeks. I know. But that time will go by very quickly. Oh, Bob, the last month or so has really been dragging. If I weren't going to school, I don't know what I'd do. Oh, there's something else I want to talk to you about. What is? School. Well, I thought you had that all arranged. I mean, if you have the baby before you graduate, that you'll take your examinations later on and get your diploma then. You know, Bob, I really think that's what I should do anyway. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to feel kind of silly if uh, my baby doesn't get here and there I'll be walking down the aisle. It seems kind of silly. You know, it does. Oh, come on. It's not that funny. I mean, in another few weeks, I'm going to get much, much bigger. Oh, honey, now you're not going to get much bigger than you are right now. Well, that's all you know. I'm gaining and gaining. Oh, not really. Anyway, I love you just the way you are. Well, I don't love me the way I am. Oh, I can't wait. But I'm a little frightened, too. Well, frightened of what? Honey, women have babies every minute of every day. Oh, no. I mean, I mean, after the baby gets here and taking care of him. Honey, there's nothing to be frightened about. You're going to make a wonderful mother. <laughs> Such a tremendous responsibility. Oh, well, haven't you heard? When they're small, they don't do anything but eat and sleep. I know picking them up when they cry. Oh. <laughs> You know, you're going to make such a wonderful father. <laughs> you think so? Huh? Oh, my goodness, yes. The way you take on responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to be able to count on me too much. I'll be at the hospital. Oh. I, I do wish that you were going to intern in a hospital where you could live at home. Oh, honey, I will be able to get home a few days a week. Well, as far as the baby is concerned, you'll have plenty of help right around here. <laughs> what with Grandpa and Mom, you won't even know you have a baby. Grandpa! Oh, you wait and see. Well, no way. Don't you think I'm going to be the kind of mother that's going to have everybody looking after a baby because I'm not? Well, I should hope not. Yeah, but there's one thing that we should recognize and be very careful about. Oh, what's that? Our baby is going to be the first grandchild, the first great-grandchild, and everybody's going to want to make a fuss over her. One thing I don't want is a spoiled child. So I want it understood right from the beginning that the baby is our responsibility. Oh, yes, Dr. Hughes. <laughs> I'm serious. So am I. And there's one thing you've got to remember, too. That when they're grandparents and 
We happen to be living with those grandparents. We can't do exactly as we wish. Well, I'm sure the family will respect our wishes. What's it going to be like, Chris, having a baby around the house again? <laughs> I don't know, honey. You tell me. You know, I'm as anxious for that baby to get here as Lisa is. Well, Nancy, it is not going to be easy raising a child in this house. What do you mean? Well, you've got to remember the baby isn't yours. Oh, Chris. No, I mean that. I don't think you should take any responsibility for him, or her, as the case may be. Oh, what do you mean, take no responsibility? That is exactly what I mean. <laughs> oh, look who's talking. <laughs> Nancy, I think we've got to act as though Bob and Lisa were living down the street. Oh, Chris, with a newborn baby in the house? Darling, you don't know what you're talking about. Nancy. Yes, dear? I think it is very nice for us to look forward to the day when we have a grandchild, but I think there are a few things we have to remember. Now, Chris, I'm not going to spoil him. No, no, dear, I wasn't thinking exactly of that. No, honey, I... I was thinking of Penny. A child in this house, what it would do to her. I know. She may not say anything, but... you and I both know Penny has never got over losing her baby. No, I'm sure she hasn't. And although she might not quite approve of everything that Ellen has done, Chris... She's in sympathy with her, and I think she feels maybe Ellen has a right to her son. Honey, I don't think it's quite that. I, well, Penny is Ellen's best friend, and I just think she is trying to understand. Ellen must be very angry at you to refuse to come over here tonight. Yes, I'm sure she is, after what I felt I had to say to her. She insisted Penny meet her at the sweet shop in the village because she wanted to talk to her. Well, she's got to talk to someone. Doug is so completely against everything Ellen's done. She'll hardly even speak to him. Is that what Doug told you? Yeah, that's right. Of course, her relationship with her mother, this seems to be something different right now. Well, Claire told me she's closer to Ellen than she has been in some time. Her mother and Penny... These two people are all Ellen has left. Or at least she feels she has no one else to turn to. Oh, Chris, I just hope Penny doesn't get drawn into this too deeply. I, I don't think she will. I think about Penny and her problem. And Ellen and the problem she's making for herself. And then I think about those two upstairs. <laughs> yes, they are pretty lucky youngsters. They have no real problems. Mm, thanks to you. Oh, no, dear. Thanks to you. You know what my reaction was when I found out they were married. Let them stand on their own two feet. No help from us. That was just your first reaction. And you were the one who convinced me that I was wrong, because if any two youngsters ever needed help, they needed our help then. And they need some now, too, financially. Not much, though. Little money, place to live. Bob told me the other day that soon he thinks he won't, they won't need the money that uh, we're giving him. He'll need the money. How much does salary does an intern get? Very, very little. And I'm sure when Lisa's through school, her folks aren't going to support her any longer. And then there will be another member of the family. Don't you forget that. Oh, I'm not forgetting the baby. It's been some time since the baby was in this house. Bob. And now his baby. Does it make you feel a little old, dear? <laughs> no, mostly it makes me feel very good. Grandpa. <laughs> Grandma. Oh, that's going to take a little getting used to, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, well. my. I hope when Bob and I have a grown family, we'll be just like the two of you. Well, now, that's quite a compliment after the length of time you've lived here with us. No, well, I don't think I've ever heard you argue. Oh, we have our differences, don't we? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid we do, dear. But, Lisa, we have tried to make it a point never to argue in front of the children. 
we had any differences of opinion, we'd argue them out in private. Oh, I think that's a wonderful rule to follow. And I'll certainly do my best to follow it, but I don't know how well I'll do. You know me, flying off at the handle and losing my temper and saying things without thinking, always hoping I'll be forgiven. Oh, you know, I hope after I have my baby, I, I won't be quite so edgy. <laughs> my doctor seems to think that uh, my baby is the cause of my bad temper. <laughs> Chris and I were talking about your baby. We can hardly wait. Oh, I can hardly wait, too. Oh, by the way, I've, I've made a list of names, you see. Oh, yes, I, I, I believe in getting uh, all of this settled before the baby gets here. Now, I have a list of girls and some boys. But I have something in mind, and, uh, well, Bob doesn't particularly like the idea, but I'd like to get your opinion. Yours, Dad, and... Of course, yours too, Mother. The first portion of this program has been brought to you today by Blue Cheer with the exclusive Blue Magic Whitener that washes so white you can see the difference. We'll continue with As the World Turns following station identification. And now the second portion of As the World Turns, brought to you today by the Quaker Oats Company, makers of fine foods for the whole family. Now, we've put together quite a list, and I guess really I should say that I put it together. By the way, when you named your children, did you name them before or after they were born? Oh, well, it was after. Matter of fact, if I remember correctly, your husband didn't have a name until he was several days old. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, we just didn't get around to it, I guess. Oh, Mother. Must be such a wonderful moment. First time you, you look at your newborn child. Yes, Lisa. It is. Shakes the old man up a little bit, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet it does. Oh, well, about this list. Now, it's mostly girls' names because I'm so sure I'm going to have a boy. Oh, you are now, are you? <laughs> well, why mostly girls' names, then, dear? Just in case. <laughs> but why not boys, too? Oh, if I have a boy, I know what his name is going to be. It didn't take me very long to figure that out. Oh, I've had my mind made up for several months. I told Bob about it just a little while ago, and, well, he's not too keen on it. But I would like your opinion. Well, what is it, Junior? Oh, no, Bob wouldn't hear of that. <laughs> no, I'm sure he wouldn't. Well, what, what name did you pick up? Well, now, now it is, this is only tentative, but uh, if I have my way, oh, I'd love to name him after you, Dad. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I think that's lovely of you, dear. But uh, how about your father there? There might be hard feelings. Well, I feel very flattered that you'd even think of naming your baby after me, but maybe Nancy's right. We wouldn't want any hard feelings in your family, dear. Dear, do you think there would be? Well, do you? I hadn't thought of that. Uh, well, I, I guess I will have to give it a little thought. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to know what you thought of it. Well, I say, I'd feel pretty puffed up to have your son named Chris. But whatever you want to name him, it's all right with me. You know... My dad's name is Henry. I never really liked the name Henry very much. Oh, let's see, Henry Hughes. Henry Hughes. <laughs> I don't like that, do you? <laughs> well, Lisa, that's going to have to be up to you and uh, Bob. <laughs> oh, dear, I, I don't want to hurt my dad's feelings. Say, Christopher Henry Hughes. That way I wouldn't leave my dad out. No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, hi. Well, hello, Penny. Hello, Penny. Penny, you are just in time. We can get your opinion. Huh? About what? About a name for my baby. Just the right name. We'll return to As the World Turns in just a moment. That's so. I was wondering about Christopher Henry Hughes. Well, it'd be very nice to name your baby after Dad. What makes you so sure it's going to be a boy? Oh, well, uh, we more or less decided on a name if it's going to be a girl. I don't think I told you, Mother, or you either, Dad. 
Karen or Carol? I think Carol. Oh, that's a lovely one, Lisa. <laughs> Carol what do you think? Oh, Hughes, that's very nice. Oh, I, I, I think it's very nice. Oh, you know, I can hardly wait. I wish I were going to have my baby tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, after all, I've been pregnant, what, seven and a half months almost. That's an awfully long time. Just be happy you're going to have a baby, Lisa. You're a very lucky girl. Oh, don't you think that uh, we can more or less make our own luck? I know sometimes there are circumstances beyond oh, our control. Yeah, I think that we can pretty much determine what we will do and what we won't do. After all, we have freedom of choice. You make it sound very simple. Isn't it? Chris, I think I'll make some coffee. Yes. How about it? I think that's a very good idea. Uh, I'll go down and tell Pa that we're going to have coffee and cake. Uh, All right, dear. Lisa, why don't you go up and tell Bob to come down, huh? All right, just a few minutes. All right, fine. I don't know why you want to start anything in front of my mother and father. I wasn't starting anything. All that business about freedom of choice. But it's true. But Lisa, don't you worry about me. Or my choice, or whatever else I do. As I said before, you're a very lucky girl. You've got a wonderful husband. You've married into a wonderful family. You have a lot of things that other people don't have. So just be happy with what you have. And don't worry about me, huh? I wasn't only thinking of you. I was thinking of Ellen, too. And the trouble that she's gotten herself into. That's a girl I just don't understand. No one's asking you to. Why do you always take exception to everything I say? And why do you always get into things that don't concern you? Well, it seems to concern everyone else in this family. You said just moments ago that I am a member of this family. Look, Penny, I'm your sister-in-law. I would like very, very much for things to be different between us. And I know that Bob would give anything if, if we were closer. I know, he's told me that too. All right, then, why do you always shut me out of things? Lisa, I don't shut you out of anything. I want to go for a walk. But no, no, you're too busy. You have to go in the village and see Ellen. Penny, I want to talk to you and we end up arguing. And that's my fault? Oh, Penny, don't you think I can be as close to you as Ellen? No, Lisa, I don't think so. Not ever. We'll return to As the World Turns in just a moment. She's on. What are you trying to say? That you don't like me because that's the way no, I felt for a long no, time? No, I am not saying that. You asked me if I thought that we could ever be as close as Ellen and I are. And what you don't understand is that Ellen and I grew up together. We went all through school together. We went to all our parties together. We shared all our experiences together. We, we've just been like sisters. And now I know what she's going through in a way that nobody else can. Please don't forget, I lost my baby too. Oh, Ellen didn't lose the baby, Penny. She gave him up. She lost him, Lisa. And now she's found him. But he was adopted almost Look, five I years ago. I know all about that. You don't have to tell me. Oh, I'd like to tell you what I really think of Ellen. I'm not interested. Do you see? Do you see how you're shutting me out? You're, you're treating me like I'm a stranger. I'm your brother's wife. We live in the same house, Penny. I am very well aware of that. All right, then why can't we carry on a conversation? Why won't you let us? Lisa, what is it you want to talk about? Oh, Penny, I know everything there is to know about Ellen. What of it? Well, I think that maybe you're just a little bit too close to the situation, but I've given it a lot of thought. And what she's doing, what she's thinking of doing, it's wrong. Lisa, that is not for you to say. Oh, but Penny, you know it is. You must. Oh, look, she's just a small, pampered, self-centered little that's girl. Enough. Oh, but everything that's happened to her is her own fault. I said that's no enough, else. Lisa. All right, I'm sorry. I really am. I guess maybe I said just a little bit too much. I guess trying to be a friend of yours is impossible. It isn't, Lisa. Believe me, it isn't. It isn't. Then why can't we be friends? Lisa, the trouble with you is that you just get into everybody else's affairs. Now, I'm telling you, stay out of Ellen's business. 
All right, you know whatever it is that you know, whatever it is that Bob told you, but I think it should stop right there. I don't think you should discuss Ellen with me, or with the family, or with anybody outside the family. Lisa, uh, did you call Bob? I was just on my way up. Bob? Bob? Yes, dear? Why don't you come on down and have a cup of coffee and some cake? Penny. Yes, dear. Would you go out in the kitchen and help your mother, dear? Sure. Go ahead. Excuse me, Lisa. Lisa. Yes, Dad? Dear. We're going to have to be, uh, be a little careful with Penny. What do you mean? Her losing her baby. And we're going to have to be a little careful what we say to her. I think you can appreciate that. Of course I can. Well, I guess I did say a few things that I shouldn't, but... Dad, she's just so touchy. But try to understand her. Hmm. All right. I'll be more careful in the future. As the world turns, has been brought to you today by the Quaker Oats Company. We'll also bring you the Tom Ewell Show tonight over most of these same stations. <music> Maternity fashions from Avorn. Join us again tomorrow for another half hour of drama on As the World Turns.